Peace. This is Sister Rakia, and by request, I am making this demonstration tutorial to show you how to do a pelvic wrap. Now, a pelvic pelvic wrap mm -hmm. is to um, keep the uterus in line. We'll start this when the girls are about six years old, and we'll continue this throughout basically their childbearing years. Now. We do this at an early age so that when the children are active, the daughters are, our girls are active, we keep the uterus in place. It's easy for the uterus to become collapsed or tipped from simple activities such as dancing, um, riding a bike and hitting a bump, um, a car accident, um, just playing around and things of that nature. So for precaution reasons, we wrap the daughter's um, pelvic to keep the uterus and ligaments in place. Now after the daughters give birth, after the women give birth, we'll do this wrap again, but we'll do it higher up to her breastbone um, to get the muscles and the ligaments back into place. This is also complementary to a Mayan womb massage, also known as a Mayan um, a domino massage where a practitioner will massage your uterus back into its proper position and then you can wrap your pelvis and keep the uterus in its proper place. Focus. It is said that the uterus is a woman's center so if the uterus is out of place the woman is not aligned. So we're going to um, strive to keep our daughters aligned by doing this pelvis wrap. She's going to guide the fabric to where it needs to be, and it should be near the pelvic bone, and um, we're going to work up to her uh, um, abdomen. So just hold that really tight, and do this as tight as she can possibly stand it. So we're going to have it right here, and I'm going to go around. have to hold that really tight. Come forward. And I'm going to pull as I go around. Now if it's too loose, you have to ask her how does it feel. And if she says that it's too loose, don't be afraid to pull even more. Or you can actually get a third person to hold that tail right there while um, you go around her. Or you can teach her how to do this on her own. We'll do that tutorial another day. So again, this is to keep the uterus and ligaments in place. Um, a good reason to keep the uterus and ligaments in place, besides it being the center of her woman, is to help with menstruation. Um, when the daughters start menstruating, it will help to lessen the cramps and helps the blood flow through the lymphs. Okay. How's that feel? It feels tight. I see this is not really tight right there. So this um, tail right here, I'm going to fold in. I'm going to pull it one more time. And I'm going to tuck it inside and that just keeps it in place. I'm going to do this one last pull to make sure it's tight and it's kind of loose up here. So what I'm going to do is fold this in and put it in here and it keeps it in place. This will actually go underneath the attire, not on top of it, but again for demonstration purposes. We're going to keep it on the outside. So that's where it is. Turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. And there you have it. Um, if, like I need one right now. But <laughs> for a woman who have given birth, this will start right here. Um, yeah, it will start like right here and then go up to under her breast um, to get her muscles and things back 
where they need to be and it helps the uterus shrink and get it back to where it's supposed to be and then after um, that happens it's called belly binding or belly wrapping and some people even call it waist training um, after the postpartum period she can go back to just doing it um, in this midsection to help keep her uterus in its proper place so I hope you followed me through this demonstration if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment